Hello club, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. My name is Helmut and today I will show you a short video. So I have created a short video on how you can change your PHP settings manually at Stack CP. So you would need to change. So if you come up upon the situation where you need to change a where you need to change PHP settings, probably for additional domains, then this is how you would do that. And I will quickly exchange, uh, I will quickly explain all the things around it. So for the demo purposes, so for the demo purposes, I we have created the account with the with the primary domain, mariahost.com. If we uh, if we open this domain in a new tab, we would see this is this is a this is the default landing page. This site is brand new. So uh, what do you would do? As this is the primary domain, so for the uh, let me let me add uh, let me let us go to uh, do this one first. Domains. We can see that there is only one domain. There is only one domain. And I will quickly explain what I'm doing. So let us say Maria, Maria host, Maria host2.com. I would add the second domain, or you would add the second domain. As changing changing PHP settings for the primary domain is very easy. But it is a bit tricky and involves manual work if you if you need to do that for this for the second, third, and so on domains. And let us wait for the domain to get added. And of course, uh, as the domain is being added, we are offering our shared cloud hosting in partnership with 20i Data Center. And let us wait for the domain to get added. Okay, successful added uh, the domain. So now we can see that there are two domains. So what would we do? What would we do? So the second domain would have would need to have its own okay, its own folder. Folder. You can call it as 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 you wish it, Maria two. Great. Okay, the second folder is created, and for this one we would call it Maria two. So what what are we doing now? We are adding the second domain, and we are stating where all the files related to that domain will be held. By the default, every every new domain and uh, domain name that you add in manage domains would automatically say that the, the document root, the main folder of all the files, is document uh, is public HTML. So, but all about adding second domain, we have this different uh, different tutorial. <laughs> okay, let us let us go back. So we have done basically basic things. So Maria host and Maria host dot, dot two. So what usually what a person would usually do. You would go. You would go to PHP uh, PHP configurator. You would go to PHP configurator, and you would see here are the default values, and then you would show that. Then then you would change them to two hundred fifty six. Maximum execution time is three hundred seconds. So you 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 would go to six hundred or nine hundred, then. Okay, five thousand three hundred maximum file uploads and this one you could go a so the so the memory limit let us say two fifty six you could go you could go five twelve but please remember this is this is a shared cloud shared cloud after all <laughs> so um and uh, maximum file size definitely can go to 512 or 10 or 1024 update so what it does oh so successfully updated the php configuration so what it does now after you have run the PHP configurator, configurator, configurator tool, remember this tool works for the primary domain only. So what it does, now when we go into public HTML, we can see that it has created .user.ini file. So this file has been just, just, just created. Just, just, just created. And it looks, and it looks like this. So it looks like this, okay? So what would what would you need to do? And if but but the configurations are done for that domain only. If we would go 
to Maria too, we see that there is nothing there. So what you need to do now is, and I have created I have created a pastebin in pastebin. You can see you can see that the and you can you can you can uh, you can play with these values manual as you wish as you want. So this is the pastebin link, paste link, uh, pastebin link, and of course this link is added uh, is mentioned in the in the description area of this video. So what you would do here, you would right click new file dot user dot any create a create an open or just create and then uh, you would open it if you wish to expand if you okay this is this one now you would go to the paste bin you would copy everything or there is there is uh, there is a raw paste detail paste it here save and close and you can see that you have just created user.ini file code i uh, then you would go to and then you can just double check it and you can manually let's say 256 say so you can manually change all these php settings configuration settings for any of your domains so this is this is in short how you would do PHP configuration for your uh, second, third, or additional domain.